Anticipation is the worst. It is. It can really. Uh... Whoa, man, it's really going. Uh, uh. Hey, hey brother. brother and welcome everyone to the ultimate tricks or treats quiz where if we get a question wrong we have to spin the wheel of punishment which does have some good things on it but also some pretty bad things so I'm just hoping not to miss many questions today. I know I know today is the day where it's like any amount of brain energy that I walked into my SATs with I need to like summon that kind of mustard yeah and yeah. not the kind of mustard that makes things spicy like horseradish like horseradish Oreos yeah horseradish Oreos is on there. I remember, if you remember last year, Ben had to eat some like I want to say band aid flavored beans. Yeah. Well, the, the worst the worst thing about those beans is that there's like a very like menthol y type of something or another in there that like gets it wafts into your nose space. So it's not good. It's just not good. Uh, right. So today we are going to be on our toes as to not miss a single question so that that wheel is merely a prop. Wish us luck. In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Ethan, the editor, is on the other end of the camera. He's waving at us, but you can't see him, but we can. Yeah. He's going to be reading us 10 questions that have been written by our very own Kangaroo Cat and an additional five questions from our quiz masters over on Patreon. Speaking of Kangaroo Cat, you can see her via the cat cam over there. Hello. She's sitting over. I'm waving and you can see me. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> she is standing at the table of punishments or treats, I suppose. Tricks where. treats. Tricks and treats. Tricks and treats. I see some good things, some questionable things. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, uh, the way it's going to work is better not to answer all the questions completely from memory. But if we can't, Ethan can give us the multiple choice. And then if we get it wrong, we have to spin the wheel. If we both get it wrong, we are both subject to whatever the wheel lands on. That all sounds correct? I think my upper lip is sweating. I'm like, I can feel it in my jowls. Yes, uh, no. that's what it is. It's the, it's the jowl thing. I've got jowl sweat. <laughs> yeah, oh, I hate that. You know what uh, I mean? I... Ethan, do you have jowl sweat? No. No. <laughs> good. Yeah. Good. Let's but start. I, like, but I, I feel it. great. Like, I know. <laughs> yes, but you but you get you want, you Sometimes know where I'm coming from. if I from. eat something really sour, I get that. And yes. It's really uncomfortable. Mm. Anyway, so here goes nothing. Let's dive on in. Question number one. Who is the owner of the ice cream parlor in Diagon Alley? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Grab this one. I don't know how to spell it. Yeah, right? Spelling doesn't count, right? No. no. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're fine, yeah. we're fine. All right, ready? One, two, three. Florian Fortescue. Florian Fortescue. Just the smallest E. You did both spell, I don't know why. What is that thing? I just, I was like, so I was such a hurry. I was like, if I don't write it down really fast, I might forget it forever. Yeah. <laughs> that is correct. Oh, oh, we yeah, did right both spell one. it wrong, though. Yeah. Okay, well, that's, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, you know. I think it's E A N, right? F L O R E A N, yes. Oh, I disagree with that on. on uh, I, I also disagree with it. Yeah, but. that's upsetting. Florian? That's, that's, the, that's the real trick of the otherwise treat that is the name Florian Fortescue. Yeah. The trick is from now on, spelling does count. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. But I'm not kidding. My question number two What sweet treat did Molly send Harry? For Christmas in his second year. We missed, okay. Oh, Last, in his I know. Second I was year. like, oh, oh, jokes on you guys. We just had this question. This is the one that I had to change. <laughs> one okay. Of the two in his second year, now we're at Chambre of Secrets. The Chambre of Secrets. The Chambre. The Chambre. What Chambre. does Molly send him? So many she gifts. She sends him candy time. called the Trinillos. <laughs> what? Oh, oh man. <laughs> I'm just doing this. I'm just doing this. You doing it? I don't like it. Doing it, doing it. All right, ready? One, oh. two, three. I said chocolate frogs. I said trickle tart. The answer is a plum cake. A plum cake? <laughs> it is not plum cake. I've never heard those two words next to each other in my whole life. A plum? A plum cake? That's plum wrong. That's what it is. Are those oh the same gosh. answers you put for the question? Yes. <laughs> yes, it yes, is. Yes, they are. It was I like, feel like she knows he likes the frogs, man. Oh, Sounds like it's right, time to ben. spin the Shall wheel we of punishment. Okay, yeah. As per always, Jay and I will have the same results based on whatever happens here. So, Oh, gosh. What's it going to be? Brownie! It's on brownie, bro. Oh, it's, it's, it's on brownie. It's on brownie. It's not on brownie. Oh, man. Man. Look at right. that. Y'all, can you take a little quarter of this? I cut them up into quarters. So oh, yeah. This is the are these from the bakery? These are from the bakery. Yay. We love the bakery. There you go. Where we get all of our cakes. Yeah, I'll take the plate back. All oh, right. There you go. Okay. Can get that one again. Do you think they have plum cakes? So far, no. we're off to yeah. They have plum cakes? 
Oh, mm. fantastic. Well, that worked out. I, I put almost... too much on my mouth. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah, they do have frosting on top, so. I'm not gonna lie back. though, I, for a second there, I thought I was gonna glue my mouth shut. I was like, I'm not gonna be able to breathe. There was part of me that was like, maybe the real trick it's is there are trick. no treats and it's actually gonna be bad. And so you, I was like so are... excited. And then I was like, part of me is like, don't get too excited. That would be no. insane. Yeah, like, it, like, can you imagine if there was like a, like a, a sickle tucked inside of that and we just bit right into it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chipped Broke. a tooth. Classic Chrissy Weasley. Yeah, I love to eat currency. Speaking of sickles, it's time for our first quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Pokemonster, Dola, and Travis Peacock and voted on by patrons. How much does Harry pay for all the treats from the trolley on his first Hogwarts Express journey? What? How, How much, much does he pay? Does Harry pay for all of the treats from the trolley on his first Hogwarts Express journey? You know when he looks at the woman, he's like, "We'll take the lot." We'll take the lot. Yeah. How, How much, much does the lot, the lot cost? <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. How much does the lot cost? How much does the lot cost? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Uh, We're so screwed. We're so screwed. I'm, I feel like I have a guess because we made the wizard and currency videos recently. And I feel like I, I have like some essence of what the correct answer is, but I have literally no idea. So that's where I'm at. Yeah. How do you feel? I don't feel good at all. All right, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Just like a handful of gold. I said and also seven sickles. I said 15 sickles and seven canuts. It is 11 sickles and oh. seven canuts. Wow! Oh, so close, but extremely wrong. <laughs> Man, I really wish one of you had written down like 37 galleons in a trick wand. I know, <laughs> I know yeah. Oh, oh just, my gosh. Just, just take the, take the punishment. Harry just hands over a whole handful of gold and says, keep the change, because he's a sport like that. All right, are I, you, yeah, you really wants to flex right. on Ron. All right, you ready? Yeah, he's just flexing. This kid, he's known for five minutes. Oh, it's spinning so much longer. He did spin it left ways instead of right ways. Leftward. Still going. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, I'm like picking up steam. No, it's the danger beam. Oh, oh no, no. <laughs> man! Not Everybody the danger the beans. Like, you guys are really overdoing this bit. <laughs> Alrighty, the danger beans uh, challenge is eat five danger beans at once, and it was submitted by Emerald Phoenix. Five, five? at once. That's what you did last time. That's ben. the same thing as yeah. last time. I was thinking it was just one. I felt like I had a pretty good chance to dodge. Now I'm not feeling so good. <laughs> yeah, but, the, but if I recall, you ate five all bad ones last time, so maybe you. The think, maybe I you mean, how can you lot. confirm that you ate five bad ones? Look, Ben knows. Oh God. Oh, that's that's just truly disfortunate. Okay, five of the five of the go. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, why did I get three brown ones? <laughs> Here you go. I don't know. The available flavors, the available bad flavors are dead fish. Oh, gotta have two that could be dead fish. Dirty dishwater, stink bug, toothpaste, old bandage, liver and onions, rotten egg, barf. <laughs> One of mine can be barf. Mine barf. can be, oh man. Barf mine, and or peach. I could have barf or dead fish. Booger and stinky socks. Good Do both Lord. of you have like a water bottle? <clears throat> well, we'll figure it out based on how bad it goes. Okay. Cheers. Hey, well, you know we can fist bump as our cheers. Yeah. That's our vessel. Boom, pretty cool actually. Probably just wanted to swallow it over something bad. Mm, me too. Oh. I can't quite put my finger on it. I've got at least something sweet that's helping. I got how at least one really noxious bad one. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you want some water? I don't know how old this water is, but... Can you guys see my face getting red? That was the most <laughs> Seth Rogen noise you've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> the problem that I have is I'm over chew all my food always. I think I've got barf. <laughs> I think I got barf and four good ones. <laughs> and so it's just like mostly covered, but that keeps being like, yeah. hence. The problem with these beyond this is that they stain your teeth for the rest of the day. The problem, oh, it's the aftertaste. Oh, so much worse. I got that barfy aftertaste. <laughs> you know like when you, oh, it's dead fish. That's what it is, goo. Oh. It's really coming through in spades now. I'm down. 
Yeah, get it out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't want it near me. Oh. Oh. You guys want to move on, or do you want another yeah. minute to live with this? Yeah. No, okay. I, I just need I need something to distract my brain from oh. the flavor that's permeating. Oh. <laughs> Oh! Brain distraction number four! It smells like skunk! <laughs> it's like, oh great, I can smell it, whatever it is. Inside your so nose, so much I worse hate that. now. The chewing was not bad. Question number four. What flavor cakes did Harry leave on the banister for Crab and Goyle to find, which subsequently knocked them out so Harry and Ron could collect their hair for the polyjuice potion? You know, you know what moment I'm talking about, right? Yeah. How thick could you get? How thick could you get? <laughs> Could you get? Hey, the question is whether or not the movie is accurate. Accurate, right? Because I know what I feel like I have an idea of like what right. they are in the movie. Mm -hmm. What, what is that? Do, do we have any descriptors of them at all? What type of cakes? It just says what flavor cakes did what Harry flavor leave on cakes? A just cakes. Okay. All right. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Chocolate. It's a strawberry. It is chocolate. Yes. No! Oh yes. Woo, I dodged one. Well, hopefully we'll get something chocolatey for you. Your, your turn, brother! <sighs> this is gonna take forever! Yeah, hopefully you get a very specific kind of Oreo. God, the anticipation is the worst. It is, it can really, uh... Whoa, oh, man, it's really going. Uh, uh, uh. into onion, but this feels rigged. We, we just had to eat Take the danger cake. beans. All righty. Oh man. Regular Oreo, Oreo indeed. I believe I won, even though I lost. Yeah, a little bit, but I'm winning the game now. Yeah, but you didn't get to eat an Oreo. Well, I got the brownie earlier. It's true. My mouth. Stopped. I have found into adulthood that the childhood snacks mom would pack in our lunch yeah. are like. Some of the most ultimate treats as adults. Oh, like, yeah, Oreos for like, sure. You know, you have the like, Oreos in your lunch, like, you know, every other day or whatever growing up. So it was like, you kind of got like, acclimated to like the quality of the treat. Yeah. Now it's like, you put a sleeve of Oreos in front of me, it's like, gone. That's it. These are all gone. <laughs> I'm they're destroyed. Let me tell you what, I remember in college, I would, whenever I would like go visit home, I'd come back and like part of my like grocery haul from home would include a package of Oreos. And then my roommate, my sophomore year, would, I'd always be like, yeah, help yourself. And he would like literally eat all of them. I'd be like, dude. I had like two Oreos. It's really frustrating. Wow. As is the continuing lingering flavor of dead fish in my mouth. <laughs> I actually, I feel, I feel kind of good. I got to clear it out. Yeah. Oreos, excellent palate cleanser. <laughs> ah, cool. It's kind of ironic because that's a strawberry and I got to have a chocolatey treat. Question number five. Which of the special effects treats from Honeydukes had the tagline, breathe fire for your friends? No. I would go multiple choice. Would you go multiple choice? Okay. Okay? Sure. Okay. A, is Drupal's best blowing gum. B, is tooth flossing string mints. C, is pepper imps. D, exploding bonbons. Uh-oh. I was like, I was, I was like, like, I was like, oh, this is a great multiple choice. I mean, oh, we just, no. we can clear off Drupal's and tooth uh, yeah, floss. Definitely not those. Okay, I'm, I'm committed. Big guess, big big old coin flip in your future, huh? It really is. Yeah. Okay. I can't believe we got danger beans. <clears throat> Ready? One, two, three. I said pepper imps. I said D. Uh oh. It is pepper imps. Yes! No! Oh! Victory! Wow. I thought for sure pepper imps was gonna like steam out of your ears or something. Yeah, like the pepper up potion. Yeah, yeah. All right, bro. Let's see it. What you got? All right. I'm gonna. I know everyone's rooting for gross Oreo. Oh man. This is so lousy. Are you are you like just just eyeballing no, it? Oh no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, 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 it picked up steam. Uh-oh. Oh, it's danger beans again! Oh no. That is so disfortunate for you. Ah, I'm really wow. Upset wow. Nice. I hope that Oreo tastes good. I feel like I feel like what happens is like everybody in the room I feel like is like kind of looking at me like is he going to explode? <laughs> and like I didn't need any exploding bonbons. I'm fine. All right, here you can pick them. You can. Oh, pick I get to pick them. Pick them at random, will... but I don't want to. I don't want to like be including bias here. There you right, go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. okay. So, so sweet. 
Yeah, they look yeah, sweet. They, they all look, look sweet. Except look for the brown sweet. ones. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> brown could be chocolate. Oh, or boy. stink bug. <laughs> or stink bug. God. I'm not gonna lie, the nausea is not, <laughs> not a thing. It's, it's yeah. <sighs> oh, I just burped the last one. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Just, you know, there you go. What do you got? All good? Maybe? Okay. Y'all, I'm fine. You're Yay! good? Bravo. You are really dodging and weaving right now, man. I am. <laughs> what is happening? You pulled them. I know, you're yeah. right. I did. Woo! That was the lucky Jason touch. The you're welcome. Okay. <laughs> I have not eaten just like Jelly Bellies enjoyably for probably 10 years. <laughs> That was a delight. That was a delight. There you go. <laughs> okay. All right. I think there's a butter popcorn in there. Give them like there a little bit of a little, nice. a little uh, like some salty sweet. There I you never go. liked the popcorn one. No? Oh, yeah, man. they're not for me. That would be like still a loss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Net loss. Nope. I'm all right with it. Good news. It's time for our second quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Law Ninja and voted on by patrons. Law Pirate, I believe. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with ninjas. What treat is Ron holding a jar of when Harry surprises him and Hermione at Honeydukes? A jar of. A whole jar. A whole jar. A whole jar. Oh. <laughs> uh, one whole jar's worth. Okay. I can't. Whenever I go to a candy shop, I never handle the jars. I you know. I don't think you're supposed up. to. Yeah. 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 You're supposed to reach it with the tongs. The tongs. Yeah. 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 Just walk up to it with the entire like thing of pink jelly beans. Like, yeah, um, I want this. Okay, I think I, I I have a guess. I have a guess. Okay, I have a guess too. Okay, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Cockroach clusters. I said blood pops. It is cockroach clusters. Yes, absolutely not is what he says. <laughs> oh man, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm loving. Well, you know what? You're doing okay. So I mean, for all we know, you're about to get plus one point and be right back in it. There you go. I am being so demoralized. I can't even tell you guys. It's the it's the it's the spin. It's the way. It's the anticipation. Here we go. Uh. It really does spin for a long time. It does. It does. We need to do whatever the opposite of greasing it is. Rusty. Sand. Sanding it. Oh, 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 good. It's oh, going no. on Ninja Beans again. Oh, no. No, it's not. Oh, good. Oh, uh, what, what is, is happening? Is Candy! Oh, Candy! No! no! Oh, what? Huh? 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 Chocolate milk? What is happening? Magic. Oh, is it? shoot. No! Is it? Hot sauce. Hot. What? It Please stop. <laughs> the I thought we had Grosoria. Oh. Hot sauce. Hot wow, sauce. what a roller coaster. <laughs> For a second, you were getting candy. <laughs> but then it was gross Oreos. It's I'm not gonna lie. Better. I'm not gonna lie. The other problem though is that like in the in you know like you have like a multiple course meal. It's supposed to build on itself. Yeah. This multiple course meal is going in like a weird direction. Yeah, your stomach's getting some weird messages. It is. It is. <laughs> a handful of danger beans. All right. And then an Oreo. <laughs> hot sauce was submitted by. This is to take a shot of hot sauce. Uh, it was submitted by Hannah Gear and uh, Ben, but not that Ben. A, a Ben, but a not ben. this ben. ben. So I'm just gonna pour you a nice little shot here. This one stuck with me for the rest of the day last time. It's probably bad for you. Yeah, it feels like it could be. <laughs> this is kind of hard to What do you think, Riley? Uh, for the views. Yeah. For the views, yeah, that's the right. Ride. Think of the views. This could be the thumbnail. Mm. It's not as well as last time. <laughs> okay. It helps that it's, it's in a little turtle. It's in, your, it's in the Raphael turtle. turtle. That's your favorite, right? No, is this Raph or is it? Oh, red. red. Okay. Oh yeah, he's got the size. Okay, I see, in the little R. He's my favorite. Who's your favorite Ninja Turtle? Let's talk about that for a minute. Install. Donatello! Go in the room and, and have everybody explain how they relate to each of the turtles. All right, I'll do it. Woo! I mean, Cholula's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, but just like a raw shot just of it. Just a raw <laughs> shot. I'm back. You're a trooper, man. Thanks. There you You're go. Great. I'm gonna keep Raph with me for moral support. You can keep Raph with you, that's fine. <laughs> Question number seven. Question number seven. What type of wrapper did Neville's mom drop in his hand when Harry and Ron saw him at St. Mungo's? They know this one. Okay. 
Ah, oh, it felt good. Yeah. It felt good. Okay. Came right out of my hand. <laughs> Ready? Right there, yeah. Three, two, one. Drinkle tart. No, it's not. <laughs> it is Dribble's best blowing gun. Yeah, it is. All right, it's we got the one. Janus Thicky Award. That's the one you got right this time. I know. I know. How about that? Ugh. Every time we do this, I always worry like, well, what if we just get them all right? We don't yeah. end up spinning the wheel and it ends up not being entertaining. It's like, know, that hasn't like, been the problem. We, we put <laughs> treats on there. Like, what if we only get treats? Nah, we're good. Question number eight. What was the first Birdie Bot's every flavor bean flavor? Ron ate on the Hogwarts Express in year one. Uh, Ron ate? Yes. Oh, God. They mean every flavor. In the new podcast, through the Gryffindor, we will be coming up on this chapter I in like, know. like a matter of weeks. I'm trying to remember what Ron's like reaction would uh, be. I don't think this is it either. George swear he got a bogey flavored one once. Mmm! What does Ron get? Now I'm like confusing the movie. Okay, I'm I'm locked. I don't I don't feel good about it. I would give it a 17% confidence at best. Best. Okay. Let's go. I just burped. Hot sauce. Hot sauce is going to your head. Yeah. All right. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Peppermint. I said turnip. It is sprouts. Sprouts. You're pretty close to turnip. Turnip's pretty close. Sprouts. All right. Here we go. We're back to the wheel. We hardly made it one question without it. Can't even look. I'm gonna have nightmares about this noise tonight. Yeah. Yeah. And don't remember, don't don't let the fake out get you. Yeah, it's weighted or something. We gotta something figure out. Oh no. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh, oh. see? Stop on oh. gross oh, Oreo. No! Stop on gross Oreo. Oh, come on. Wow! Oh what, man! What a ride! I was like, it was it was on Grossoria for a hot second there. And then it was, it was hot sauce again. Still going from hot sauce to chocolate milk. Like this is again, it's, got, it's not appetizing. You got a weird soup brewing. Yeah, it's yeah. true. It's true. Good soup. Oh man, <laughs> we dodged one. There's a lot of chocolate milk. You don't have to drink all of it. Just <laughs> enjoy this at your leisure. It's chug a treat. It. It's you a have treat. to chug. And cat trips spills it on us. <laughs> Trying to be very careful. Enjoy. All right. The chocolate milk treat is the cat throws chocolate milk all over you. <laughs> <laughs> My little obstacle course. Chocolate milk is underrated. No, I think it's overrated. Think I'm it's not gonna overrated. lie to you. Cat walked in the other day and she was like, "Do you like chocolate milk?" And I was like, "I don't like chocolate milk." And she was like, "Oh, I was thinking that could be a good treat." And I was like, "Oh, okay. In this context, that's fine." <laughs> mm. I don't know. I think I remember there. Were, I went through phases, even like through my whole life, where I'd be like, "Oh, guess what? We gotta." I'm having chocolate milk like every day. I mean, what I'm, do getting you like out the, I'm getting out the Hershey sauce. I'm mixing it. I'm, do you like mm. chocolate milk or barf jelly beans better? <laughs> <laughs> Probably chocolate milk. And it goes to chocolate milk. In my brain, chocolate milk and like pizza are associated because in my elementary school, every time it was pizza day, it was also chocolate milk day. Oh, you oh. only get chocolate milk on pizza days. Oh, we I had, had chocolate milk every day. Every single day. Every day. Yeah. Every yeah. day was chocolate milk day. Little cardboard box that yeah. sort of had like a, like, you could sort of taste the paper. You could you know, absolutely taste it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I'm sure someday there will be like an infomercial that was like, did you go to school in the 90s and drink paper? I can totally see there being like a candle flavor that's like, you know, like school pizza plus papery chocolate milk. <laughs> yes. Oh, man, I thought I had a turnip. All right, what's, what's the next question? It's our third Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Lexi Vestal, Tiny Man 1199, Randy Savage, and Helen Shaw, and voted on by patrons. And it is a select all that apply question. Oh no! Which suites have been passwords for Dumbledore's office? Oh, yeah, okay. A through J. Oh, what? A is acid pops. B is canary cream. C is chocolate frog. D is cockroach clusters. E is fizzing wisby. F is fudge flies. G is ginger newt. H is sherbet lemon. I is sugar quill. And J is toffee eclairs. I'm really, I'm really just torn about one. Okay, okay. I'm a little bit torn about one too. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
They're torn about one. This is a good question. This is a good question. A lot of them... Some of them really stand out, and other ones I'm like, the one I'm, I'm like really going back and forth on one. Really waffling. Waffles is not an answer. I know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just have to, I to stick with my gut. How's your gut doing? Oh, it's soup. Yeah. 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 We're making, uh, when I was a kid, I used to try to make potions. Yeah. And the way I would do that was by collecting just like household liquid objects. Uh, and squirting them into a cup together and kind of making a slurry out of them. Yeah. Common ingredients might include things like toothpaste, mouthwash, hot sauce. Right. You know, the sort. My son does this with um, all of the shampoo and soaps. And rather than, it's not like a huge variety. It's mostly just like half a bottle of body wash or something. <laughs> nice. <And you're> like, <sighs> Going through a you lot know, of them. Like, did you, you at least clean free, yourself right? with it? Or? <laughs> He's like, well, we can just buy more. I'm like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right, I don't feel great. Okay. That's the hot sauce. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think, I think we all know why. All right, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. I said A, D, E, and H. I said A, D, and H. It is A, D, E, G, H, and J. G? What was G? Ginger Newt. What? No uh, man, I was acid pops, cockroach clusters, fizzing whizbees, ginger newts, sherbet lemons, and toffee eclairs. Man, I was going back and forth on toffee eclairs. Ginger newts, I had no idea. Ginger newts was like not included in the in the patrons thing, but I, I like double checked on the like Wikipedia page and it was on there. Oh, oh man, that, ginger that feels like it could be like a like a like a. Hogwarts, Hogwarts mystery. mystery. I could see that. It'd be interesting to see. I know ginger newts are what. McGonagall has inside of her tin yeah. when she's like trying to calm Harry down about Humphrey. Potter. So yeah, I knew uh, acid pop cockroach cockroach culture. Cl I'm not even gonna say it. I just can't talk. All right, spin <laughs> the spin Wizzies. the wheel. Here we go. Maybe it's fun too hard. Gives me plenty of time to erase all that writing. <laughs> A few moments later. You nervous? Oh, yeah, I'm nervous. Uh, 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 oh God, here it goes again. It does the thing. It's got a mind of its oh. own. Oh, 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 what is happening? It's magic. Oh. I think that's burning again. What, no, please. It's, uh. Oh no. No! No! Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh. Yes! Chris, <laughs> over your time. Everyone's so happy about Audience, I'm only excited because I had the unfortunate opportunity to prepare <laughs> the gross Oreos today. Oh man. No. All right. Uh, Dude, Oreo. my hands are sweating. <laughs> How are your jowls? I got the jowl sweats. <laughs> Gross Oreo is eating Oreo filled with horseradish submitted by Travis Peacock. It can't be that bad. It can be. I mean, I don't really mind horseradish, but I don't feel like it's going to go well with Oreo cookie. What Probably opposing not. flavors? Okay. All right, I'm gonna take one last sip of, of chocolate milk here to. Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to dip it in chocolate? Milk? You want to dip it? Yeah. <laughs> Give it a milk and chocolate. I'm, you know I'm, taking, say, I'm taking this milk one. Milk and Oreos. You know what they say? Yeah, milk's favorite oh. cookie. I'm not gonna lie. The <laughs> other part that's so unsatisfying Horse about radish. this is that the horseradish just makes it look like an that Oreo looks, that's gone bad. I know. It looks like a spoiled Oreo. Like it yeah. melts in many ways. Oh, it it smells. Is. It does smell. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna go whole cookie at yeah, once? Yeah, I'm going whole cookie at once. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. You want a second bite? Yeah, I don't want to. I, I don't want in. a second bite, but I don't want everything at once <laughs> either. Like, I don't want a first bite. Yeah, I don't Two want any bites. At once. Can I just quit being a YouTuber right now? <laughs> yeah. This is it. What happened, Dad? And if you give me your job, I'll eat the Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go. Woo. It's mostly just like wasabi. I can't even taste the Oreo. Not that bad. <laughs> I don't know that Ben feels the same. I think the cookie really cuts down on the, the, the heat. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that was taking every ounce of my focus to not yak. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe Ben's going home after this. <laughs> it's also raw. The other thing is not making any of this. Yeah, bucket. 
Oh. We're gonna kill Ben. I don't, I don't even think he's doing an ad. Hello and welcome, or should I say it, bienvenidos, to The Scenic Group, where I'm so excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Monly, which is an amazing language learning app. Now, before I even get into the details, I just have to tell you how amazing the offer from Monly actually is. They're offering lifetime access for $79.99 when you head on over to monly.app slash super. And you might be thinking, wow, lifetime access for $79.99, I'm in. What am I getting lifetime access too. Well, I'm so glad that you asked because it is just chock full of amazing language learning resources. You'll have access to 41 languages from 33 native languages, meaning there are 1,320 different language learning combinations available. What that means is that like me as a native English speaker can learn like French, German, or Spanish. But if you are a native French, German, or Spanish speaker, you can also learn English or French or German or Spanish. And one of the great things that they do is use native speakers for each of the respective languages. So as you're learning your new language, you're also ensuring that you're getting the correct accent formation. And with the help of their chatbot, which is equipped with speech recognition, you can actually use it to have real conversations. It's awesome. Plus, you are in good hands because the app has over 110 million users and it's in the top five language learning apps worldwide, winning awards since it was launched in 2014 from Facebook, Google Play, and Apple. Personally, for me, I've been super enjoying the mobile interface for the little daily quizzes to kind of like sharpen your vocabulary. They will give you like a variety of different angles as to how to learn each new word to ensure overall comprehension. Honestly, travel has become one of the biggest and most important aspects of my relationship with Alice. And so the ability to learn all of these new languages to me is just invaluable. And because I will have lifetime access to the app, it just means that I'll just be able to continue to learn no matter where we're going. So personally to me, this is a total no brainer. You can get lifetime access to Monly when you head on over to monly.app slash super for just $79.99. That is a 96% discount. It's an absolutely amazing deal. Link is in the description down below. And welcome back to the table, everyone, where I'm excited to tell you about today's other sponsor, Warby Parker. As you can tell, I put on my glasses t-shirt for the occasion and got rid of that stupid wheel. Warby Parker offers everything you need for happier eyes, whether it's just glasses, contact lenses, sunglasses, eye exams, plus you can shop online or in store. And I love this sponsor because they make the glasses I wear and I've been wearing Warby Parker for like the last 10 years. One, because they're affordable, starting at just $95 a pair, and two, because they have this super fun, like, at-home home try on system. Basically, you just go to the website, warbyparker.com slash jverseb, and then with no obligation to buy at all, you choose five different frames you wanna try, and then they ship them to you for free, and then you ship them back for free. And I love the at-home try-on thing because it like, lets you feel a little more free to try some bolder pairs maybe you wouldn't have tried before. Like I love putting them on and like modeling them for my wife. You know, like, hey, what do you think of these? What do you, th what do you think of this face? Hmm? She's like, I'm trying to read. I'm like me too, that's why I need glasses. But seriously, without the at-home try-on thing, I probably never would have landed on these translucent clear lenses. Like I thought about doing it for a while, but I like when I'd get in the store, I'd feel like too nervous to like try it on for some reason. I don't know if that's a thing. Maybe that's just an insecurity of mine. Maybe you're like me. Either way, Way. Beth liked them, I liked them, I went for it, and now it's just part of my look. But what's really fun is that because I got so many to try on, I actually picked up two other pairs as well. I got this like big dark blue pair that's like a little bit bolder. Uh, and then I also got like a backup pair of my old classic black lenses. But the glasses are quality made, the website is user friendly, and the whole experience is just fun. So go ahead, try on five frames for free when you head to warbyparker.com slash jverseb so they know that we sent you. Like again, the, the whole thing is free, so, so why not? One more time warbyparker.com slash j b link in the description down below hey welcome back hey thanks yeah yeah how you feeling it's still bad still bad yeah yeah, yeah that tracks yeah that's okay though that's okay i mean you know what hey it's only six more questions uh, when you look at it like that it sounds just the worst yeah the great news is you made it in time for question number 10. yeah yeah hey good 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 i'm glad you guys didn't progress at all without me i would have been so upset yeah question number 10 what kind of blood flavored candy at Honey Dukes did Hermione suppose were meant for vampires? Isn't it just like... Ben did say it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> just giving away answers. 
It, I mean, right? so the only, the, I mean, my only pause whatsoever, because I have included this answer art today, is the inclusion of the word in the question. I know. So like, I, I, if I'm wrong, that's, that's, you know, I don't know. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Blood pops. Blood pops? Yeah, the, the answer is lollipops, but okay, I, I don't yeah. think they were called like blood Oh. I think they were just blood-flavored blood lollipops. lollipops. Okay, yeah, blood-flavored lollipops. So, I think okay, and I was like, why would they put the word "blood" in the in the question if it's part of the answer? And now you both have to eat one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> wait, wait. Welcome for blood pops. We made you blood pops. Oh, our right. blood. Yeah, with our own blood. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so that inappropriate. Jay versus Ben amazing. is officially gone off the <laughs> rails. <laughs> 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 Find out as two YouTubers get hardcore canceled. Speaking of a question that has none, not nothing to do with blood. <laughs> Never mind. Speaking of another question, what was the shape of the enormous cake at nearly headless Nick's death day party on Halloween in Harry's second year? One of my least favorite chapters One of the whole of this year. They shape? describe some really awful food. They in do. This they chapter. do. The shape of his cake. Yeah, there what was is so the shape many of his cake? That I could have put on here. This was the least gross of them. What the is the shape, shape of the cake? What was the cake shaped like? We can multiple choice it. Only because you guys have insisted. I'm <laughs> clearly doing insist. fine. Yeah, I insist. I didn't insist. <laughs> okay. What do we got? A through D. A is a sword. B is a spider. C is a tombstone. And D is a pumpkin. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I actually thought of one of these. Almost two. I did not. So I got. I was. I was near on one thing, but okay. I think. Okay. Anyway, I'll tell you after if we get okay. it right. There's two reasons why I would think two different things. Mm -hmm. Do you have the same problem? I just. I went. I went right for it. You just I'm went just right hard for it. committing. Okay. Okay. All right. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Tombstone. It went all black. It is tombstone. Oh, thank goodness. That was weird. What happened? Is this the first time what, like both of us got it right in a hot second? <clears throat> no, we both got it right. Blood pop. You're right. We got blood pop right. <laughs> that was the last one. That was the last one. Yeah, we needed the multiple choice this time though. <laughs> it was the last one. <laughs> time is time uh, yeah. is time is just going real slow. It real is. I know my my original thoughts were were that it'd be an axe because I put that's axe, how I was I wrote axe or skull. <laughs> yeah, and then tombstone because it's death day party, and then pumpkin came up, and they go to. The death day party instead of the Halloween feast, and yeah. it was like it could be like a oh it is Halloween pumpkin pumpkin like, yeah. Does that mean he was <clears throat> beheaded on Halloween? I guess yeah right. Yeah. Oh, I guess so. Same as Harry. Interestingly, there is like a blood covered axe in the room of requirement, and I've sometimes wondered like did they do it at Hogwarts? Oh, that's a theory. Ooh. <laughs> Where was nearly headless Nick killed? It is time for the fourth quiz master question of the game. Right. This question was submitted by Ferocious Pop Tart and voted on by patrons. That is an amazing. It name. is an yeah, amazing. That's the first name. time I've seen that name. They must be a new patron. A Ferocious Pop Tart also sounds like something that we might have to eat inside this <laughs> game. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's not on the board. I squoze <laughs> all of the filling out of a Pop Tart and instead filled it with pure wasabi. Uh, wasab tarts. Wasab tarts. What was the topping item on Floor and Bill's wedding cake? Say it again. What was the topping item on Floor and Bill's wedding cake? What was their cake topper? What was their cake their topper? topper? What was their cake topper? What was their cake topper? Gosh, I don't even know if I have a guess. Zigrindelos. <sighs> Zigrindelos. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Probably. <laughs> They're like, hey, Floor, you want to you know what you want to remember on your wedding day? <laughs> remember that Zigrindelos? Yeah. In a high school tournament, you totally got like had. <laughs> yeah, remember when you lost? You came in last place in the second task. You remember when you thought school educators were gonna kill your sister? <laughs> yeah, remember Gabrielle. that. Gabrielle, Floor did not have a good time in the Triwizard Tournament. <laughs> she did not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, drops Poor the thing. second task, gets attacked in the third one. Not so good. Meets her husband though. Not bad. She not bad. So there's that. Okay, I. I don't know. I mean, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying to. I'm gonna have to spin. Okay. One, two, three. I said an ice dancer. I said a witch's hat. It is two model phoenixes that took flight. Oh, that's not it. This is because right. they're known for their phoenix. Why am I remembering there being like a cake in Harry Potter where there's like an there's like an icing dancer? Maybe it's in the Yule Ball. 
Hmm? The old ball? Maybe. David, the old I ball? feel like I remember it happening somewhere, and I was like, that. that it's kind of like, like ballerina esque floor something. I don't know. Okay. Okay. All right. Here well, we go. Do it again. Here we go. Oh, a gentle, a gentle little. Maybe it'll be a plus one or a minus one point because I don't care yeah. about winning. Oh, no, yeah, that'd be great. And, and if it's together, then it really makes no difference. It makes no difference. Oh no. It could be good. It, yeah, we could get a good thing. That hasn't happened in a bit. Oh no. Oh 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 oh. Do not. Do no. <gasps> it's no. no! <laughs> it's the Oreo again. No. <laughs> Are you no! Get Oreo again because these are the last Oreos we have that are filled with horse oranges. I'm fine with that. I'm fine. <laughs> I can go make more. It was <laughs> so close to so many good things. It was almost a wax though. That would have been bad too. I'm Maybe better than this. One. At least that's just, you know. Then you want some Tums? Versus. You want the big one? <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway. You ready? I'm taking a sip of water first. Is anyone truly ready for that? No. Are your hands shaking? Let's get a test. No, you're good. Steady. Too bad. Rock pretty solid. Pretty steady. Yeah. Pretty I could be an astronaut, astronaut probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is part of astronaut training. <laughs> you never know, and you might have to eat horseradish on the moon. Yeah, that's the secret, guys. We took everything on the wheel from astronaut training. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I took the big one for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. Ready to right. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was. <laughs> it's still that was savage. Right. <laughs> Remember, you have milk. Get it down. What I got in the nose that time? <clears throat> oh no. I can't tell you how much chocolate and. Horse radish do not go together. <laughs> I'm ah. surprised by this. <laughs> I just had a shiver down my spine. I'm not gonna lie, I feel bad for Riley. It was a lot worse. It was a lot worse the second time. <laughs> it was worse the second time. Oh, like, mm. I feel my, I'm getting the, I'm getting the sweats. Oh no. I'm getting the face sweats. Getting the face sweats. You can see my pulse in my wrist. <laughs> oh, oh cool. Visible heartbeat. I think that means you're well hydrated. Can you see that? I can't, but maybe it's there. <laughs> I, punch I in, believe you. I might be able to. What the fuck in my teeth? Question number 13. What sweet treat was the only thing Harry didn't put a bit of on his plate at his first Hogwarts feast? Is it treacle tart, fizzing whisbies, acid pops, or peppermint humbugs? To be clear, I feel like I didn't write this question very clearly. To be clear, not all of these are were options at the table, but one of them he distinctly was like, I'm not going to take that. So which one did he choose not to try? Which one did yeah. he choose not to choose? Peppermint humbugs. The level of anxiety I'm starting to get at each question that I absolutely don't know the answer to. I don't know. I'm like, oh gosh, this is just <clears> like, <throat> I can't believe how many bad ones we've gotten. I know. You know? I know. Okay, I mean, I think I have a guess that makes sense. Okay. All right, you ready? <sighs> yeah. One, two, three. Let's have the peppermint humbugs. So the acid pops. It is peppermint humbugs. Yeah! Because I don't think there would be acid pops, is what I was thinking. I didn't think peppermint humbugs were a thing because I don't recognize <laughs> that name at all. Okay, okay, that was smoother. Candy! <laughs> Candy! 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 It just wow. stopped. <laughs> so we tightened it a little. All right. It's, it spins less when tightened. Yeah, okay, well, then. there you go. All right, good for you. Would you like a Reese's, a Kit Kat, a Hershey's milk chocolate bar, or a Reese's pumpkin? I'll take a Kit Kat. Yes, sir. Yeah, well, you missed the question about candy, and then you got some. Man, that would have been a great time for the BRB. Right in the middle of you taking a break. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, Give me a break. It, it's a Kit Kat joke. Ooh, Question boy. number 14. Which of the following famous witch and wizard chocolate frog cards did Harry open on his first trip to Hogwarts? A is Dumbledore. B is Morgana. C is Hengist of Woodcroft. D is Fagin. E is Agrippa. F 
is Alberic Grunion. G is Alatar the Blue. H is Cersei. I is Ptolemy. And J is Merlin. These are which ones he did open on his first oh, trip man. to Hogwarts. What was C? C is Hengist of Woodcroft. Hen Gosh, Jay. How could you not know <laughs> that one? Hengist of Woodcroft, you say? Yeah. The well, most famous really... Harry Potter character. I feel like this quiz was hard. Yeah. There's no doubt. Wow. The well, how many points do we even have? Uh, Jay has eight, Ben has four. Okay. Ooh. Man, you've had a, so, you missed a bunch. Uh, I missed a bunch. Yeah. You've spun that wheel. Yeah. For yeah. all yeah. its yeah. worth. wheel through its paces. Yeah. All right. I mean, I, can, I have a guess, but... Ugh. I don't know. I don't feel comfortable. I feel like we're spinning. I feel like I, 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 it would be helpful to know how many there are. How many all there? How many all there? There are six. Okay. Well, yeah, six. Wait, wait. Keep doing what was more. E? What was E? E is Agrippa. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go with that one. And what was C? Grenhurst or whatever? Hengist of Woodcroft. And uh, E? I'm sorry. Oh e, e is a gripper. Write them down. Okay, I am writing them down. <laughs> okay, I've got my guesses. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. I said A, B, C, D, J, F. I said A, B, E, H, I, J. Neither of you are correct. I No kidding. It is A, B, C, F, H, J. Dumbledore, Morgana, Henkist, Hengist of Woodcroft, Albrecht, Grunion, Cersei and Merlin. I thought Cersei? someone got Agrippa. No, yeah, Ron Cersei's... needs a tall. Ron and was and looking Agrippa. for Agrippa. Each pack's got a famous witch or wizard. I got about five hundred myself. It's fine. Also, Ptolemy was just like a math guy. <laughs> yeah, so, just... or was he? Apparently, he was like a wizard guy. Let's see it. Oh, That's... oh! oh come on! Oh, 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 wow! Oh, that was on that wax was so for an unsettling amount of time. I've cracked five points. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, you really, you really cracked it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you my question. So Will and really, prowess. really broke that five points wide open. <laughs> oh man. Woo. Oh man. That was, that's a that's an ESPN top ten. Right the wheel yeah. had perfect comedic timing. It there. really, it really <laughs> did. Oh. That's, oh, oh, oh you really did. Well, there's one left. All right. <laughs> and it's the go. fifth and final Quizmaster question of the game. Just put me out of my misery. This question was submitted by Halbjorn TFB and voted on by patrons. Who founded Honey Dukes? Who founded Honey Dukes? Who founded Honey Dukes? Three words. Oh, man. <laughs> Three words. Who founded Honey Dukes? I would oh. go multiple choice. Yeah, multiple choice. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. A, Ambrosius Flume. B, Florian Fortescue. C, Augustus Brine. Or D, Carmelis Chirp. We'll see. It's Hengist of Woodcroft. <laughs> there's there's perfectly good reason to select an answer I didn't pick. I know. I and know. I'm I'm in the in the face of reason. I am not choosing it anyway, because one of them stood out to me. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. I said A. I said A. It is A. Yes! Oh, thank goodness! <laughs> oh, thank Ambrosius goodness. Bloom. I'm we never did doing, it. I'm never doing it again for at least six weeks. I only know that answer because of the Honey Dukes Lego set. Wow. wow. Fun there you fact. go. Wow. Because there you go. it includes a Mr. Flume Aww, minifigure. Wow. So what a popular and I was character like, to push Who product. is Mr. Flume? <laughs> yeah, it's like everybody's like, I can't wait to get that one. I know. Yeah. Wow, what a collectible. Oh, man. Very I was fun. like that, but it was like Carmela's Chirp. Was that the last one? I was yeah. like, Car mm -hmm. Caramel? It's like yeah. Ambrosia, was, yeah, that's kind probably of sweet. That. It's like a flavor. Yeah. I don't know. know. Oh, yeah, Florian Fortescue was pretty easy. I know. I was like, not that one. And then Augustus Brine. I was like, Brine. Brine. Yeah. No, nah, I don't think it's that. I don't think so. Although little... my stomach feels like Brine at the moment. I bet it I'm does. Lie to you guys. I bet it does. Woo! Would you feel better if we spin the wheel? The wheel? <gasps> oh, does the staff want to spin the wheel? <laughs> really? Right? Like, no, I know they do. Like, I'm gonna crouch next to the high wheel. Please be plus point. Eaten there a bandage bean before. Be oh, yeah, two of those. I've also eaten a dead bean. fish bean before. Oh, God. Uh, here we go. Oh, boy. 
mukaan. Oh no! Mm. Mm. Swimming is already terrible. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's so much more fun when you're watching. It's so much better when it isn't you. This is the first candy I've had in like 200 days. Wow! <laughs> I forgot about that. Maybe you'll just I'm be sorry. off candy forever. Mm. There's something in there. Oh, I can smell yeah. it, dude. It's not. It doesn't Whoa. taste terrible. It kind of smells terrible inside my head. Yeah. Oh, that's the. Mm. They're so chewy. Here you go. Are we gonna do an arm wax? Really do you want to wax my arm? <laughs> Somewhere on my arm. Okay. <laughs> you got a good hairy bit. All right. How's uh, this? This is gonna be painful. Okay. We got this cat. How long fine. does it stay on for? Um, not very. Not very. So we can go. Yeah, you can go. Okay. You just ready? gotta do it against the against the hair. Against the hair. So go towards against you. The hair. Yeah. Okay. Ready? One, two. Oh, okay, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. We did it. We did it. There we go. I waxed oh, someone. Now I just have a weird a patch weird, of <laughs> weird patch of skin. I'm gonna throw this bad boy off a bridge. Yeah, just just get. Oh, it's uh, clamped on there. That's, it's pretty. It's secure. resilient. It's pretty secure. Yeah. And now we need to give a huge thank you to these quizmasters who support us over on Patreon. Yeah, huge shout out to Pokemonster, Dola, Travis Peacock, Law Ninja, Lexi Vestal, Tiny Man, Eleven Ninety Nine, Randy Savage, Helen Shaw. Ferocious Pop Dart and Halibion TFB. If you would like to try to stump us in a future episode of Jay vs. Ben, you can do so by heading over to patreon.com slash supercarlinbrothers and selecting the Quizmasters tier. Thanks to all of our Quizmasters for their continued support on Patreon. Guys, be sure to please let us know how you did in the towel section down below. Even if you didn't have to spiel, spin, the wheel of disfortunate over there. I have a feeling it was still pretty tough going because that was not an easy quiz. Not an easy quiz at all. Uh, hopefully you played along with some sort of weird tricks or treats at home and you got all sorts of weird, weird tricks played on you too. Good, uh, let's, take a, uh, let's give a round of applause for Ben for sticking through lots of um, terrible on, tricks on him today. Otherwise, if you want to check out our brand new podcast through the Gryffindor, we're doing a chapter by chapter read through the entire Harry Potter series. Uh, uh, that is available wherever pods are cast. But otherwise, until next time, bye! bye.